Hello, Father Jay here again to share some ideas, some thoughts, some reflections with you. Um, we've entered into the season of Advent, a great time for reflection. And I think that's good. We all need to be reflective, particularly at this time, because when things are not going well, we need to reflect. And Advent comes in kind of like a wow. I'm reminded of the prophecy and the words of John the Baptist, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Made great in that music from Godspell, it is kind of resounding. And it goes on to talk about making straight the way of the Lord bringing low the mountains, filling in the valleys, making a straight road for the Lord to come. Well, we know John the Baptist. He did it in a particularly splashy way. Fine. What about us? John the Baptist's splashy way was basically to attract the people, to get them to reflect to get them to look at their lives and see what they were. I know too often people seem to think, well, that's looking at our faults. That's looking at what we've done wrong. That's looking at the things that we just didn't do right. And yeah, perhaps that was a very real context of John the Baptist's message at the time. But we aren't at that time. And what does it mean to level things out in our lives? It's a perspective. A perspective that we need to reflect upon about how we can improve ourselves. Not to say that, oh, this was bad. Oh, we were horrible about this. But how can we improve ourselves? We follow Christ. We put our faith in him. But we know sometimes what he asks us to do isn't easy. And that's why we have to fill in those valleys, bring down those mountains, so that we can traverse the way of the Lord. And so what does that mean? We look at ourselves and we say, I'm living a good life. I'm not neglecting my neighbor. I am not treating people disrespectfully. I'm trying to do my best. Great. Now let's look at today. What's the great thing that I can do today? Well, Hard as, it is, hard as it is, I can stay home. I can work to make sure that the spread of COVID is calmed down till the vaccine gets here and we can actually reach that point where we have a handle on the disease. For our own good, yes for the good of our neighbors, for the good of our family. You know, again, it goes along with feeding the poor, clothing the naked, making the world a better place. It's hard, yeah. People are by nature social. That's who we are, that's what we are. And that's what we have to be. But sometimes we need to retreat a little and take time off so that those things can be better, so that they can be greater in the future. You know, we all know the example of the athlete. If you are going to be a successful athlete, if you're going to be the champion in whatever you want. You have to make sacrifices. You have to 
work out. You have to keep at it day in and day out. There's no time off. You have to keep at it. You have to adjust your weight. Maybe you need to eat more. Maybe you need to eat less just to prepare yourself to function. And that's what we have to do. And that's how we prepare the way of the Lord, how we make God more present to us. Why? Because we're doing it out of love for God and out of love for Christ, out of love for our neighbor, which Christ calls us to, and love for ourselves. God never called us to hate ourselves. And that's something that too many people don't get. They're, oh, I'm a sinner. Oh, I've done wrong. Okay. What's the great thing about being a Christian? You're a forgiven sinner. Get up, realize it, and move forward. We prepare the way of the Lord, not on a vast scale, not to the community as John the Baptist did, but in ourselves, making ourselves acceptable to Christ, making our welcome for Christ within ourselves, making him always feel comfortable and at home with us. And we know how to do that. And as I said before, it isn't always easy. I know that. You know, someone rear ends you. What's your reaction? Well, I can think of a couple of words I'm not going to use. But, okay, forgive them. Forgive them. Which does not mean that you don't get the insurance claim to get things fixed. It means forgive them. Period. Short, simple. That. Easy. Yes and no. Nonetheless, that's what we need to do. And that's what I mean by, you know, filling in that valley. Filling in where we could go. Where we could go low. Where we could bring in hatred. Where we could bring in the cursing and the swearing. Where we could bring in all of those demonic names and whatnot for the other person. And you say, no, the heck with that. Let's just bury it and go on. A short, simple example. But what I mean is, it's Advent. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself to be that stable in Bethlehem, willing to accept the Savior. Be like Mary, who opens herself up to the Lord and says, your will be done. Open yourself up to the Lord. And he will help you to make the way straight for him. In your heart, in your soul, in your very being. Now is the time to reflect. We've got plenty of time. Let's use it. May you have a good week a safe week, and all of you stay healthy.